In this video I show you some tips on working with the mesh materializer add-on by Mark Kingsnorth. Let's jump straight into the add-on. Oh, first what I want to tell is um, the basic idea is that for example you have your patterns and here you have the mesh. So these are the source objects. Now you want to have a pattern for example on this loop or that loop or all over the place. So you can do that with this add-on. You can have all kinds of settings and you can get those patterns on that object in the way you want. So, but when you start with the add-on, maybe it takes some time to figure out what the workflow is. So let's start. So first you select the object and then you see the mesh materializer add-on. You scroll down and there I suggest to switch off the Add edge split modifier. I show you why that is. For example, if you add a cube to the scene and you add a split, oh, what's that? <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, I want to add edge split modifier. And if you then later, if you add a subdivision modifier, you see that those faces are disconnected. And if you don't have a edge split modifier, then all these vertices will be connected. So that's why I want to switch off the edge split modifier. Then the next step, uh, you don't want to use vertex normals, or I don't want. I want to use the face normal, because if you, let's say you have a face and you extrude something on that face, if you use the um, vertex normal, then there is a chance that you extrude meshes like that but that's not what you want usually you want to have it extrude, extruded direction of the face like that so so the next step I set the tiles all to one because I, want, I don't want um, let's say if I put too many tiles then and I end up with something like 10 tiles or 20 tiles per, per face then a blender will have a hard time and then you have to wait and um, so I'm best just start with one and bend that up later. So I have to go back to step one because select main object first and that's sometimes quite tricky. Be sure that you always have the main object select. So that's the one. Now we add source object. For example, let's do the, uh, this one. So that's under the source object. I click on the plus. So I have that selected. Next one, I go in edit mode. And let's turn this off. I go in edit mode, select all faces, and best is to start with a reset. Reset on UV unwrapping. So that means that it's because you have now the tiles on one, you get exactly one a pattern on each face. So from there, it's easier to start with things like rotate, uh, scale, etc. You can then also do another kind of um, unwrapping cube, cylinder, or whatever you, you want. So we have that. Now we are going to select some faces. For example, let's add this one. Press 3. So I follow that face out here. And on the other side as well. So now I apply to selection and we see that uh, the um, Z is too high. Oh, I forgot that. So after this, you scroll down and you click on uh, enable parameters update selection. So you can now adjust things like this. We can do it also with the normal multiplier. So there are loads of things are possible because you can 
specify a lot of things like um, how many tiles you want so now you have more tiles across you can, you can do an offset like that let's do that a little bit inside the mesh and you can rotate and scale etc and you can even randomize that's very nice for example uh, so you go to the offset so i have a random offset so there are a lot of things possible so that's the basic uh, you see let's go here and then you have a nice uh, pattern it's a little bit too high let's bump that a little bit down so from here you can figure out how to work with that so then i want to start with part two and um, that's very interesting so that was part uh, one that was a quick overview how to start with the add-on but i want to show you another workflow because i bought this add-on because i had experience with the tissue add-on and uh, i like that kind of workflow but if you start with that mindset then you will get a few uh, problems so that's why i actually made this video so first before i go going to start uh, with my workflow i want to explain what is a good mesh in this case so if a mesh is not good you will get problems when you are going to solidify or when you do a subsurf or a smooth shading or when you are going to do a boolean so first uh, we have sometimes doubles i show you what it is so i have two cubes i'm going to join the meshes and if i do a subsurface now i got two spheres when I go in edit mode to select vertices, then we see that these vertices are not connected to each other. And there is one problem more than a face inside. So we select all and then we press F3, merge by distance. And you see here, removed four vertices. So that means we get this. So if we do now a subserve, we got this we got one mesh but there is one more problem because if i subserve a little bit more and click on shade smooth then we see here some strange artifacts and that is because there is an um, uh, interior face so i what i can do i just deselect everything by pressing double a two times on a then I go to select, select all by trait, interior faces. Then I press X, and then I have a perfect mesh over here. Oh, yes, so I forgot this one, I'm thinking about it, but when it pops up again, then I'll tell about it. Another one important thing is that the normals are pointing outwards, so I go in edit mode. I press 3 for face select, Alt N, then I flip this normal, and let's check what happens. When we are going to subdivide, we got some strange thing like this. Um, so we go in add mode, select all, and then we press Alt N, we calculate outside, so all the faces. The normal, the normals of a face pointing outwards. So that's good. We have now a mesh that is watertight. All vertices are connected. And now I suddenly remember uh, the, 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 this point. So I, I have a cube here. I add a material. Then going to add a look at over here and then i'm going to join these meshes i go in edit mode and i see um a uh, free merge by distance and also going to remove the interior faces and now blender doesn't know what the interior faces are because i made this edge loop and i have here a vertex so it is a bit confused and we are going to subdivide we get things like this 
So how can we solve that? We can solve it by yeah, you could make an edge loop here to press all, then merge by distance, then deselect everything, select all by trade, uh, trade interior faces. You could do that, for example. Or if you don't like that. You press X, dissolve faces. Oh, no, sorry. X, dissolve edges. Then you get that. And then there's one more thing. There is no manifold edge, but that's not that important. So if we are going to go in edit mode, select all. Merge by distance, uh, give it the material, and then oh, we get something like that. So, in fact, what you want is a mesh that is watertight, all vertices are connected, and there are no interior faces. So that's important. So then we can jump to the third part, and that's this one. So we can use also Mesh Materializer to create a kind of organic mesh uh, like this, or I have a few other examples on um, my Twitter. So I will quickly show how that works. So first select the, 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 the object. Then we scroll down, turn off edge split modifier. So I turn off this for a while uh, because I will do that well once I have those tiles applied. Then uh, face normal is okay, tiles I want one, and then I remove this one. I add, I add, let's add, let's add this one here, yeah, that one. So I go in edit moment, select all, press U. Reset then uh, for some reason I don't get here apply to selection. So I'll remove this then and add that okay. Yeah, for some reason I didn't get applied to selection, but so I have here my mesh. And because I have um, a one pattern per face, I think, press check. So, turn that on. Yes, so one pattern, pattern per face. So I don't need to dissolve cuts. That, that's for later use when you are going to use another um, UV unwrap. So I don't need to use these, um, these functions. So what I do here is select my uh, mesh, select all three, merge by distance, and it removes a lot of vertices. Next is you want to check the face orientation. You see, some are not okay. There's here recalculate normals, and still doesn't do because, yeah, this is uh, like a 2D mesh. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's just a flat thing. So, how does Blender know what is up? So, what is inside, what is outside? So, what you can do then is maybe you can do it like this. It's a little bit of work. Then, then I press Alt N. So I got everything over there. Now I think I got a perfect mesh. I can add a solidify modifier and it works just fine. It works. Oh, what the heck? 
Why is that? Oh. So some vertices are not connected. So I do it once more time. And I bump this up a little bit. So solidify. And now it seems to be perfect. Apply. Subdivision surface. I do one more time. Yeah. Shade smooth. So then I got a perfect mesh. I can do everything with this mesh. I can, yeah, you see it, I can use a solidify modifier subservice. I can use a booleans without any problems. Get ups, uh, hard ups, uh, export the mesh. So this is then a mesh you can uh, control and you can do every, anything with it, with Blender. So I hope this was uh, useful. So then um, I will post it also on blenderalons.org, blender-alons.org. And then, um, yeah, if you have ideas on how to use the add-on or you want to show your render, that will be fine. All right. Thanks for watching.